Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. So in this video, I want to share with you how to create a simple lead capture page using the Builder All Pixel Perfect Builder. But this video is gonna be a little bit different because I am going to back it up just a little bit and rather than dive right into building the lead capture page, I want to share some foundational principles you should have in place that really will become like a template for all the lead capture pages that you build using Builderall. For example, before you start building a lead capture page, there are certain things that you need to know, like you should be establishing your font palette first and your brand palette first and things like that. That way, every time you start a lead capture page from scratch using the Builderall Pixel Perfect Builder, you will have a consistency through your work. It will always look nice. It will always be branded to you. And honestly, once you learn how to build the lead capture pages this way, you will, you will have less issues when you edit in the mobile version, for example, or when it's time to tweak your capture page. So with that being said, if you want to learn some of the foundational principles to building a simple lead capture page, inside the pixel perfect builder using builderall then keep on watching all right guys and gals again this is barbie figueroa with rise marketing and design.com please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel i would truly truly appreciate that all right guys and gals so let's get right into it all right guys and gals so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and log into your builder all back office and if you're not using builder all yet you are you've been doing your research you're trying to find out you know does this tool really work to build my business is it simple to use and you haven't activated a seven day free trial yet i will invite you to do that uh right now below this video you can go ahead and activate a seven day free trial and even follow along with me on this video once you get access to the tools which you'll have access to them for seven days absolutely free no credit card required so i will leave that link right below this video so you can check it out i'm a systems girl so when i am doing something i try to find what are the shortcuts? What are the easiest ways to create this? And then I like to try to create a template for me to follow so that when I start building, it's a lot easier to build. Now, I've also done an epic tutorial video using the Pixel Perfect Builder a few months ago. It's got thousands of views on it. I'll also link that right below uh, this video for you in the description box because that video, it, it kind of takes you through the whole process. So we're going to shortcut a little bit today because what I want to do is I want to show you the thought process even before we start building the lead capture page. That way you have this lock, you have this on lockdown so it's easier for you to build the next time you build a lead capture page. So with that being said, let's go to the builders. Go to drag and drop pixel perfect and let's go to a new website. Now I highly recommend that you just start from scratch. Um, as a matter of fact, Russell Brunson from ClickFunnels, after watching him build a bunch of funnels, I, I realized he never uses the templates. And the reason why is because sometimes it's just easier to start from scratch once you know what you're doing. So I like to start with a blank template as well. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to go to blank page. And we are going to go ahead and just select this one. Completely blank, completely clean. Okay, so now these are headers and footers. And like I share in my uh, Pixel Perfect tutorial, whatever you put in the header and the footer will always stay in the header and footer across this layout. So the first thing I want to do when I'm building a lead capture page, I want to bring these up because I really don't want the header to show. We really don't need that on a lead capture page. So the next thing I want to do is I want to hit save. Now, before I even type anything, before I even add a banner, this is where I really want you to focus. We want to establish our font palette first. When you establish your font palette first, it will be so much easier for you to build a lead capture page, okay? Because what I used to do was I would just come in here and I would type and I would fix things along the way 
and it just slows your building time down. So what do I mean by establishing your font palette first? Well, before you put anything on here, before you put an image, a banner, anything, I want you to go ahead and click on this text uh, icon right here, and we're going to establish the, the font palette. Okay, so you'll see that uh, by default, these, pal these fonts come up, and honestly, I hate these fonts. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change them. So let's go ahead and change the fonts to Lotto, which is my favorite font. And if you'll notice, right here it says desktop and mobile. So when you are, when you establish your font palette first, right, for the desktop and mobile, once you go and edit in the mobile view, it is going to be so much easier. So let's do that right now. to establish my brand palette which is my color palette that way if you are creating like a coaching funnel something that you want it to look more you know high-end more branded to you then the next thing I want to do is I want to establish the brand palette so I'm gonna go to Canva which is where I have my brand palette and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brand colors really quick Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and add my brand palette into my project. So I'll do that by going ahead and I know that I have to design in a banner first. So I'm going to go ahead and select the banner and we're going to go ahead and establish our branding palette right now. so much easier so let me go ahead and select my brand color okay so now we have the layout for our capture page so let's go ahead and click Save now all we're gonna do is add a headline add a capture form and a little few a few little bullet points and we'll be on our way and now you'll see that our fonts are already here, which makes it so much easier to build your lead capture page really, really quickly, and it'll look beautiful to boot. And once we hit the mobile view, you're gonna see how easy it is to put everything into place. Now one thing I forgot to do was set the color in my font palette from the get-go, but the cool thing is you can go ahead and fix it right here on the fly.
Alrighty, now the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add our capture form. I like the way it looks, so I'm going to leave it just like that. And then we're going to create a quick little subheadline with some bullet points. Alright, now it's really coming together, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this in. Now remember, you want to take a look at my Epic Pixel Perfect video, because inside that video I show you exactly how to keep these things spaced apart so they don't touch each other, so that once you hit the mobile view, nothing will overlap or anything like that. So let's adjust this really quickly, just so that everything looks even. And now what we want to do is hit Save, and we want to go to the mobile view. So now when you go to the mobile view, everything's going to be a lot easier to fix. Now, now that I'm looking at this on mobile, I think I want to make this just a little bit smaller. So we're going to go ahead and customize it. Now the cool thing about build draw is if you want to see there's a little gap over here if you click on the on this one it'll bring everything up so these are little magic arrows that I didn't really talk about in my pixel perfect uh, tutorial so use these arrows when you use these arrows they bring everything below it up with you that way you don't have to drag one thing one by one by one by one so let me bring this up just a little bit and click save. And let's go ahead and uh, preview it. So you might want to adjust these to your taste. And let's go ahead and look at desktop and you'll see that the desktop was not uh, affected. So let me shrink this footer just a little bit because I don't need that much. And there you have it. Now, if you, are, if you want to learn how to connect this to Mailing Boss and start your Mailing Boss list, I highly recommend that you go ahead and take a look at my Pixel Perfect uh, Epic tutorial, which I will link down below. I go into a little bit more detail. But what I wanted you to take away from this video is so that you can make things a lot easier and go faster, you want to go ahead and uh, establish your font palette. 
your brand palette, which is your color palette. Um, and then once all that is taken care of, then you want to go ahead, add banners and start adding your headline, your subheadline, and all the other stuff that is going to be in your lead capture page. So if this video has been helpful, please go ahead and like this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted the next time that I upload a video to my YouTube channel. Now, if you want to check out BuilderAll for yourself and you haven't already, uh, and you want to activate a seven day free trial, go ahead and click on the links right below in my description box. I have my BuilderAll links in there that you can check out and uh, you can test drive BuilderAll for seven days for free. And once you activate a business plan, you will have access to all my bonuses and some exclusive trainings that I don't upload to YouTube. Plus you'll get access to my uh, templates and share funnels that I have created exclusively for my uh, Team Arise team with inside of Builderall. So this has been Barbie Figueroa. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope that this helps you. If it did, please go ahead and leave any comments or questions right below in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video. Bye.